Grab my, right. my yeah. little key here. For sure. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, and we are live. How's it going, everyone? Since Judy Regatta here, and welcome to episode 50. Yes, episode 50. So it's a very special episode today here with Chintua Alozi today. Chintua is a husband. He's a he's a pet owner. I still ha- I still want to I still have yet to see photos of said pets. I bet you they're cute. <laughs> anyway, he's an expert marketer. He's a blogger. His video. He's really kicking it in his business right now. And today, you know, he's about to make our Saturday even more brighter as he's about to drop some major value. So, guys, hang out with us, you know, hang tight, you know, I know it's around lunchtime, you know, just hang out with us. It'll be fun. It'll be amazing. So, Chintua, give us a little bit of an intro and give us a little sneak preview of what it's like inside your world. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here. I, I, I. I appreciate the opportunity uh, to, you know, to tell my story and I'm grateful for you, you know, to, uh, to be humble enough to ask me to do that. And I'm just, I'm, I'm humbled, you know, that, uh, oh. you know, that you're doing this. So that is so awesome. Um, where do I begin? I, well, I'm a, I'm a former Marine, uh, but Marines say there's no, there's no such thing as a, a former. Once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine. So that's, you know, my background. Um, but before that, uh, I grew up in, in, uh, Nigeria, uh, West Africa. Um, my dad, my dad was, a was a diplomat and, uh, back in the early eighties, you know, I got the opportunity to, you know, travel, you know, with my father, uh, throughout East Africa, um, uh, Switzerland. And then when I graduated high school, I, I came to the United States. Uh, at the age of 19 mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, it was always my my goal was to my dream actually was to uh, be a marine and uh, when I got the opportunity once I was here in the United States after going through you know odd jobs here and there and I got the opportunity I basically walked into a, a recruiter's office and said hey I want to be a marine and uh, <laughs> on April 15th of uh, 1992, I found myself shipping out to boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And three months later, you know, I graduated and uh, I did four years uh, active duty in, uh, in the Marine Corps and came out in 19, uh, 1996. And, uh, you know, I accomplished pretty much what I wanted to do. Yeah. You know, that was my, my biggest goal at the time. And I'm so thankful and grateful that you know uh, God made it you know uh, possible for me to for me to do that. And uh, that's pretty much you know my history in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> my my beginnings. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. So now break down your uh, subject matter expertise for us. Okay, uh, expertise as in. In your business, right? Like, uh, what's that's your subject matter expertise? Okay, uh, my my uh, expertise or forte um, is um, I I like I like to inspire people. You know, I like to encourage people, and uh, most of my uh, you know my live and my videos is really about you know in- inspiring and encouraging other people because I know you know through my through the years, through my struggles, you know, through my fights and hardships, I know that I'm, you know, I'm not alone. And um, when I come out, you know, it's always my goal to, you know, help encourage other people and inspire them and let them know, hey, you know what, you may be going through this, but there are other people that have been through it. You know, it, it may be unique to you, but it's not unique. So it just, you know, I, I, I inspire people and, and encourage them to stay and remain encouraged, you know, through their, through their journey. That's powerful. That's awesome. We have the amazing Kirshana Sykes giving us some love, hanging out with us. Yeah. We also have Sylvia Na here with us. Hey, guys, how's it going? So now from there, now don't pull anything back, okay? Really give it to us, okay? Tell us about your rock bottom moment. Whew. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this this might be a little personal. Um, uh, 
gosh, I don't know if I if I want to go into this area, but uh, no, I'm going to delve into it a little bit. Uh, my my rock bottom moment was uh, not necessarily in my business. Mm. Um, it, it was in, a, in my own personal life um, when I went through uh, a period of you know struggle with you know my relationship with my wife and. For about five years, you know, we were actually separated uh, through my own fault. And uh, I've, I've, I fought through that and my wife went through that. You know, we both, you know, suffered. We both endured. And five years later, um, we, we, you know, we got reunited. Yeah. <laughs> and um, at that time, I, I, when I was going through that, I really didn't see, you know, a way through it. You know, I didn't see, you know, me getting out of that. I just saw myself, you know, going, getting deeper and deeper and deeper into a big hole of, uh, you know, an abyss, so to speak. And um, I, I know that, you know, I, I'm not the first human being to go through something like that. You know, there are other people that, you know, that have gone through that, you know, before me. And um, I just knew that, even though I was going through it, that it was, you know, when you're going through stuff, you know, you, you sometimes you, you, you kind of get stuck there in your mind. You don't think there's anything that you can do to get yourself out of that. Um, but through, through my faith and through the encouragement of other people that were close to me, you know, uh, through uh, my church and relatives, and those people, you know, people that really cared, you know, I was able to, and, you know, through the help of my wife as well, you mm -hmm. know, we were able to go through, you know, go through that and come out of it. Uh, uh, should I use the word victorious? <laughs> 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 and uh, that, that's really my rock bottom moment, you know, yeah. uh, as far as my whole general, you know, life, you know, goes. And I'm glad yeah, that's uh, after... Uh, my wife would tell you, you know, we've been we've been married uh, 27 plus years, almost 28 years. And mm -hmm. she would, if you talk to her, she would say, uh, subtract five, five years from that. You know, but that's our, you know, that's our inside joke. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just <laughs> grateful that I went through that and, you know, and we're still here. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. We have... Um, Krishan is like saying, uh, you know, tell your story, inspire us. And uh, Sylvia says, hardships can come, can seem like setbacks. That's right. You know, it's like, uh, I love how you just trusted the process, you know, and five years later, it's you're back on track and all that good stuff, right? You trusted the process. You didn't really, you, you know, it, at the time, it seemed like a huge setback. You know, it's probably a dark, really dark time. Yet, you know, you managed to come out and I want to acknowledge you for that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so now, what? Um, what? What's uh, the most brilliant light bulb moment so far that that really turned everything around for you? Oh, the most brilliant light bulb moment uh, was more recent, probably going to about two months ago. But uh, is it okay to just you know go back a little bit before that? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. Um. Going back to you know my my uh, years after after the Marine Corps back in uh, 1996 uh, when I came out of the Marine Corps um, because I I didn't grow up you know you know in an entrepreneurial household like I you know I stated earlier my dad was a diplomat uh, so I was <laughs> some people could say you know that I lived sort of a, a sheltered life because I didn't you know yeah. get my first. I didn't get my first job until I was, you know, actually pretty much an adult at 19 years old when I came to the United States, you know, on my own uh, by myself. Um, but fast forward 1996, after my time in the Marine Corps, um, something came along, you know, my path in, in, in the way of uh, home business. Mm -hmm. And I just found it fascinating that, you know, hey, listen, you can generate income from home, you know, without having to go to your job. Because um, I had never done something like that before. Yeah. I thought it was fascinating. And of course, you know, some things came along my way and I said, oh yeah, you know, this sounds good and I'm going to do it. And of course, you know, it didn't pan out. Yeah. Um, 
I, I, I lost, I lost my money. It wasn't a, you know, a significant amount of money, but, uh, but from that, I knew there was something bigger mm-hmm. than, uh, you know, than yeah. just, than just getting up and going to work. Mm-hmm. Um, so I kept on that journey. I kept joining one thing after another and, you know, one thing after another, and I think, you know, we, we call it, uh, uh, the shiny object syndrome. So mm-hmm. I kept through that. And as I, as I was going through that journey, um, I was learning, you know, I was learning something. And then uh, 2000, uh, in the year 2000, I, um, I got into the, uh, the police department and that was the, yeah, September of 2000. I, I joined the, uh, the New York City Police Department uh, which you know, I'm I'm still on in, on that right now, uh, 17 years <laughs> and counting. I um, I joined that because that was a, a different phase of my life. And um, after I graduated, uh, nine months later, because I was in the police academy for about nine months. After I graduated, four months later, uh, 9/11 happened, mm. and of course that was a, a time of you know, turmoil for, uh, for sure. you know, people in the United States and to a larger extent, you know, around the world. That yeah. was, you know, a day that, you know, really changed a lot of things for a lot of people. And, you know, we, we went through that. And, <laughs> and then um, three years later, I saw an opportunity to, uh, to get involved in, you know, in a, another, you know, home business. And it was an insurance company. And a friend of mine approached me, you know, actually approached my wife and my wife, you know, told me about it because she knew that I was always, you know, interested in looking for something bigger than myself. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, you know, she was, she was always, you know, my backbone and, you know, my biggest critic, you know, I'll tell b- people that she was my biggest supporter as well. I was my <laughs> biggest critic. So I went through that and, and joined that company you know, got licensed in life insurance and investment. And, you know, I was doing, I was doing rather, you know, decent, you know, but I was learning some things, some new things that I had never, you know, learned, you know, how to prospect, how to, you know, talk to people, mm-hmm. you know, how to, you know, really build, build a business from home, something different from, you know, what I had done prior. And of course, um, as things would have it, I think it was 2010, um, <laughs> which is, uh, part of that deep hole that I was in, mm-hmm. that I shared with you earlier. Yeah. Uh, I kind of gave up the license, you know, cause I was distracted and which is, you know, speaking of distraction, uh, I want to share with everybody. If you have, if you come to, uh, find something that you are, you know, that you are passionate about, that you love to do that you can use to change not only your life and other people's lives. Don't let yourself get distracted by the small things. Mm -hmm. Don't let yourself get distracted by the small things because because when you look back, you'll, you'll, you'll think, wow, how could I let that, you know, thing distract me? How could I give up my, you know, my life insurance license and my investment license that I worked so hard for? Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> but I was able to move forward from that. You know, I moved forward yeah. from that and uh, moving forward, uh, I believe it was 1998. Uh, no, not 1998, 2008, I'm sorry. 2008, I, I came across yet another, you know, business opportunity. But mind you now, along the way, I was doing different other things. And I always thought that, you know, this was, you know, unique to me because it used to be a, a, an inside joke amongst my uh, <laughs> other business partners. They will tell you, hey, Chin, you know, Chin has done it. You name it. If there's a company out there that Chin has been in it. <laughs> <laughs> so in uh, 2008, this company, I bumped across, you know, uh, online and I joined. And I joined, I think, uh, at Level of Gold. And what happened, I think it was, you know, in about, about a month or so, I completely, you know, let it go. 
I completely forgot that I, you know, that I joined that because something else came up, you know, another opportunity came. So distraction, mm -hmm. but I kept moving forward. And then um, in 2015, I'm, I'm getting towards the light bulb, you know, the- Yeah, don't <laughs> worry, take your time, it's fine. <laughs> in 2015, uh, I saw another, you know, somebody sent me an email and um, it, it looked interesting. It was catchy and I, I put in my information. Judith, what did I know? What do you know? It was that same business or that same uh, affiliate opportunity that I had in yeah. 2008 that I had signed up for that I completely forgot about. Because after I finished the uh, filling it, uh, out the, the form, they said, oh, um, you're already a member. You already have a username. Mm. So I do. So I had to, you know, <laughs> do the, you know, the username recovery thing and, and yeah. find out, oh, they, they're absolutely right. So what happened was I paid more attention, you know, at this point, because I found myself that I had grown from who I was, you know, going back, you know, to 1996. Mm -hmm. I paid closer attention to, you know, what I, what I had started again. I said, all right, you know what? I'm here. Let me see what it is that I, I dropped going back, you know, how many years ago? In 2000, you know, 2008. So I, I started, you know, learning and, you know, going to, through the information, following the instructions and learning along the way. But I also knew that I wasn't doing enough, you know, to, uh, to advance myself, to move forward because people were making, you know, a lot of money. People were making money with the, with the opportunity, but it wasn't happening for me right away. Although I, I thought I was following the, uh, the instructions. And uh, I stayed with it, you know, learning, you know, so much more than I had learned before, you know, things like personal development, which I, you know, never thought about, um, uh, attraction marketing, which I, I had heard of before, but I never really took a closer, you know, took a close look at it to understand what it was about. And, you know, just I, I, all my life, I've always been a, a curious person. You know, because I, I, I used to read a lot, especially when I was younger. You know, if it was printed, I would read it. Mm -hmm. so I knew that I had a curious mind. So I, I delved more into it, you know, understood a little more. And I made a little bit of headway. But I could never crack that, you know, that, you know, ceiling. You know, that glass ceiling. I could never break it. And I, I was wondering why it was that I couldn't do that. But I knew based on what I had, you know, learned up to this point that it was really me. It wasn't about this company. It wasn't about my upline. It wasn't about downline. It wasn't about anybody else. It was really about me, which is, you know, something that we all need to understand uh, because a lot of times it's really up to us, you know, to make what we're doing work. Yeah. Now, leading up to the light bulb moment was about two months ago. Um, a friend of mine, I was watching her live stream. And, uh, I, you know, I commented because uh, I've known her for, you know, about two years. You know, I commented on her live stream. And later on, she sent me a, a, a message on Messenger. She said, you know, I appreciate you commenting on, the, uh, on my live stream. And, oh, by the way, you know, I just come, came across something. Could you take a look at it and let me know what you think? So I said to her, uh, my plate is full. You know, I really don't have room, you know, for anything else. You know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing so many other things. And mind you now, although I was doing so many things, I wasn't really seeing the result that, I, that I've been looking for. Yeah. But as a friend, <laughs> but as, <laughs> as a friend, I said, listen, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take a look because that's what I believe, you know, friends, you know, should do for one another. Even if you're not looking to join what that, you know, that thing, you know, do that person, uh, do that friend a favor. So I went in there, I opened it up and I was watching the video. Shoot this. This was my light bulb moment. Wow. And what I said to myself as I was watching, I said, holy moly, where have I been? Or how come I haven't, or how come nobody has, you know, shown me what I'm watching right now? Mm -hmm. 
because up to that point, although I had seen so many different things that helped me along the way, I'd never seen, you know, information that was so, you know, um, simplified to the point where if you followed what I was watching on that video, you know, you and you are, you know, honest with yourself that you can do it. So after I finished, you know, even before I finished the video, I went to where I said, you know, sign up. And I was signing up. And there was a trial, I think it was a $1 trial. And I said, you know, I'm not doing the $1 trial. I'm just going to go to, you know, I think it was $37. I'm going to go with that. Because yeah. I knew I, not only was I saving seven, uh, $10, I knew that right away to tell myself that, hey, listen, this you need to take this seriously. And, you know, just work through with this, through this, because you've never yeah. seen this information before. And yeah. um, I went through the, the boot camp that I saw in that, uh, you know, that I saw in the, in the, uh, in the program. And that was pretty much my light bulb moment mm -hmm. in, in all my journey. That's awesome. That's amazing. That's such a powerful story. And again, I want to acknowledge you for again, you know, uh, you took responsibility for, you know, where you are and how you ended up in, in whatever situation you're in, in your current situation, right? Like you didn't blame it on the system, blame it on this and that, blame it on your upline, on your downline, blame it on everyone else. No, you, you, you took responsibility for uh, what was happening. And I just remembered today is Remembrance Day in Canada and it's Veterans Day in the U.S. And what what a fitting uh, guest to have here today other than Chintua. Guys, show him some love for his uh, for his, uh, you know, I, I know he's a cop, but personally, I think it's all the same. I know it's geared more towards the Marines or the Army and all that good stuff. But hey, cops are serving us, too. <laughs> Well, yeah, happy so, Veterans Day to everybody. <laughs> yeah, and uh, thank you for, uh, you know, protecting and uh, uh, serving all the time, <laughs> literally well, and figuratively. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now what held you back from going all in, though, when you first got started in your uh, business? Um, wow. I think the, the one thing that comes to mind was just fear and not sure of myself. Mm. And I think that, you know, that's one of the things or one of the many things that holds so many people back, even though most people will not come out and say it. You know, most people won't tell you, hey, I'm afraid, you know, to learn something new. Um, I'm afraid because I'm not sure of myself. I'm not sure if I can really do this thing. You know, um, that, those are the two biggest things, I, I think, for me personally. That I, I was always thinking about um, where is the money going to come from for me to go all in mm. instead of, you know, how can I make this happen? Mm. Yes. You know, like someone said, uh, there's not really a lack of resources. There's just a lack of resourcefulness. And that is so true mm -hmm. because resourcefulness is nothing more than uh, just saying, how can I make this happen? You know, uh, the old saying there's one, more than one way to skin a cat because when you, yeah. when you really, you know, sit down, you can always find, you know, a, a way to make something happen. So for me, it was, you know, the fear and not being sure of, of myself, not having, you know, someone, you know, I, I think I, along the way I was looking for maybe someone to say, Hey, you can do this or, Hey, don't be afraid. Hey, you know, don't worry. You can make this happen. But I felt like I was, you know, that I was, you know, uh, uh, alone. Although I had, you know, a, a spouse that supported me, but, yeah. you know, she she would encourage me. But, you know, she was not skilled in that way to, you know, to say, hey, you know, go, you, you can do this, go, go, go do it, because yeah. she didn't have that kind of experience herself. So those are the two biggest things, not being sure of myself mm -hmm. and afraid that I, I, mm -hmm. I won't make it, that I'm going to fail. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And, uh, and I love that small mindset shift you made. Hey, it's a, such a small mind sh mindset shift coming from giving yourself a finality of I can't do this. I don't have money. It's, it's like giving yourself a total you're making a final decision. That's it. I'm not doing it. As opposed to, okay, how can I make this work? You start brainstorming, you're not putting an end to anything, right? It's a, it's open from there. You're just like, okay, 
not now, but I'm working on it, right? <laughs> That's amazing. So now from there, what's the best advice you've ever received? Whew. The best advice I've ever received. This might this might seem so simplistic, um, but it's really there, there, there are many, but I think this one, you know, many people have heard it is yeah. don't give up. Mm-hmm. Never give up, no matter how long you know, you know yeah. it takes, no matter yeah. how difficult it gets, you know, mm-hmm. never give up. Yeah. As long as you are, you know, you, you remain persistent and, and you're learning and you're doing the things that you're supposed to do, yeah. don't quit, you know, mm-hmm. because uh, along the way, if you keep going, that something something's going to give. Mm. If you keep going, it's not you that's going to give. It's that thing that you're trying to overcome that will yeah. give. So just, you know, not quitting is, is the best advice yeah. that I've gotten. Yeah, I love that. It's either you or it's that whatever it is you're persisting on. It only, something's got to give at some point. Yeah, it's, it's, it, that advice is so cliche and it's so underrated at the same time. It's, uh, it's something that everyone needs to hear every once in a while, because like Chintua here said, you know, it's uh, something's got to give. It's either you or, or whatever it is you're working on. So who's going to adjust? <laughs> Eventually, it'll be whatever it is that you're working on. So. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. I'm sorry. To add one more thing, um, I tell people that um, God gave me the gift of stubbornness. Yeah. Um, you know, in my, my personal life and also along, you know, the journey of um, uh, home business, network marketing and affiliate marketing, the stubbornness of never, you know, quitting. Mm-hmm. You know, I could never imagine myself, you know, moving away from uh, working on something that I can call my own. I just can't see myself. I can't I can't find myself in that place where I say, you know, I'm you know, this, this is it, you know, this, I, I'm walking away from this. I'm not, I'm not mm-hmm. going to do this anymore. You know, like you, yeah. you know, you can walk away from a job, you know, because you found a better job or, or something like that. But this is totally so different. I can't find myself, you know, a place where I'll say, okay, you know, I'm walking away from, you know, my network marketing business or affiliate marketing business, or even the, the concept of, you know, working, you know, from home on my own thing, on my own franchise, on my own, you know, uh, things, that thing that I call my own, there's, there's something different, you know, that thing that you have total control over, as opposed to, you know, my job right now that somebody, somebody else, you know, controls what, what I do at, at work, you know, someone controls when I show up, you know, <laughs> how I show up when I leave, you know, when I retire, well, the retirement part, I, I leave anytime you want, you know, th- that's your call. But as far as showing up every day at work, someone else controls that. Because if if you don't show up, you know, there, there are consequences. Whereas, you know, with your own thing, although there are consequences, the consequences of disappointing yourself, disappointing those that, you know, that are looking for you to, you know, mm-hmm. to make it. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted yeah. to add that. Yeah, it's amazing. That's awesome. Um so what's a personal habit that you have on uh that's just a must on a daily basis? Who <laughs> um what personal habit that I that I have is that I, I don't go a day without doing at least one thing, you know, in my business that that even if I, I know it's, I think it was uh, Dan Hoffman that said that you have to have a, a zero level. Mm-hmm. in your business and zero level being that one minimum thing that you can't go a day without. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I, when, when I heard that from her, I said, you know what, that is so true because even on the days when you don't feel like doing anything, you know, uh, you're under the weather or if you have kids or, you know, you, you have to take your kids here and there everywhere just making that decision that, you know, that says, listen, I can't let this go, this day go without doing this one thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, my personal habit. And one of those things is, you know, I, I haven't gone a day without doing a live stream on, you know, any subject whatsoever uh, for yeah. the past, I think over a year now. Nice. And 
I think sometimes also people find it difficult to find something to talk about. Yeah. And I always have something to talk about, either yeah. from something I saw in a webinar, uh-huh. or something that I um, I saw in a, another person's uh, live stream, maybe a person like uh, someone like Keisha Bass or, or someone like that, a leader that I look up to. I can always, you know, pivot around what they shared and use that you know, leverage that as something I learned and, you know, share it with everybody. So yeah. if, I if I don't have that, I, I make up my own stuff that I think, you know, will benefit someone, Some, something that I learned yeah. you know, a long time ago. You know, yeah. That's really it. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I've been promoting this book a lot lately and I have no monetary investments in it or anything, but it's called The Slight Edge. And that's exactly what Chin Tua here just explained to us. You know, the small things that, that's easy to do on a daily basis, you know, just keep doing them. It may seem ex- insignificant, but when you look back, it actually has a compounding effect. And before you know it, well, goals have been smashed. So, <laughs> yeah. So now... Um, what do you have on the go right now? What's something you're super excited about? Well, I'm 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 super pumped. Like I have never, you know, in the uh, I guess 15 plus years that I've been doing one thing or another, something that I uh, am so pumped about is this, you know, digital franchise that you know uh, my friend Takia shared with me uh, just over two months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I am so excited uh, because that's where I I. I when I talk about the boot camp, um, <laughs> I tell people, listen, I, I've been through boot camp, you know, in the Marine Corps. Yeah. Uh, but the, the profit boost and boot camp in this uh, digital franchise is nothing like the boot camp that I went through. You know, mm-hmm. uh, the boot camp that I went through, there were sand fleas. Uh, there, there were, <laughs> there was a swamp. They used to tell us they were crocodiles, you know. So if you, if you try to escape from this island, you know, Paris Island, they, you'll get eaten by crocodiles. Um, people yelling at you. Uh, you 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 marched pretty much, you know, everywhere you went. You know, you didn't just walk like a regular person. You marched in order. And of course, there was a purpose to that. But this boot camp, the profit boost, boosting boot camp, is nothing like that. There's nobody yelling at you. There are no sand fleas. All you, what you have in front of you, once you make that decision to go into it is all the tools that you need to make whatever it is that you're, you're doing, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, um, that the, all the tools that you need are in this boot camp, And that is one thing that I'm super, super, super pumped That's about. Awesome. And I'm so glad that, you know, that I, I said to Takia, yes, that I'm, I'm going to take a look. Mm-hmm. You know, never mind that my plate was full. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm glad I did. And I'm, I'm so grateful for her to actually, you know, share it with me because mm-hmm. I think we, we all need to do that. Even, even, even if I had said to her, you know, after I watched it and said, okay, you know, my plate is still full, you know, it's not for me, whatever, but at least I knew that she was, you know, gracious enough to actually, you know, share it with me. Mm-hmm. And I am, I am super pumped about it. And, I, and I'm, I'm so happy and excited to be on, you know, the, the, the team that I'm on right now, the tribe with Keisha Bass. Yeah, it's awesome. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah. uh, <laughs> that, that's what I'm excited yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, I've been having a, lately over the last uh, week or so, I've been pl- having plenty of guests from uh, the tribe. And uh, yeah, and they had the woman herself, Keisha Bass, on the early days of, uh, I think she was episode four or five on early days of uh, Entrepreneur in the Spotlight. And yeah, so guys, definitely check that out. Um, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an awesome, you know, it's an awesome, awesome boot camp. And like you, you know, I've done plenty of trainings before, but nothing as, as, uh, as knowledgeable as this. This one really simplifies everything, you know, and nothing, no fancy words, no nothing, just simple, plain and simple. This is what, this is what works. This is what doesn't work. Simple. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, and then there's also a reason why, you know, you, you know, there's a reason why you're like, hmm, maybe I'll check this out. There's a main, or there's a reason for that, you know, and then, and it's this, now you're super excited about this. You know, you found a, uh, a really good team that helps, uh, helps you, supports you and all that good stuff. Right. So, so now before we wrap this up, give us a parting piece of guidance. What's that one message you want to leave with us here today? 
Oh, cool. Thank, thanks for uh, asking me to do that. Um, I'm going to take what I, I want to share with everybody um, from <laughs> this book. You know, but speaking of the tribe, I think the tribe I've been reading, uh, uh, The Science of Getting Rich. Mm. And uh, there's, there's one uh, quote that I saw in there that's so profound that uh, sometimes we, some of us, you know, box ourselves into a place of, you know, thinking that, uh, that we're lacking in something. You know, we're, we're not really lacking in anything. That there's a lot of abundance, you know, around us. You know, we just have to open up ourselves and, and open up our minds and look around and, and it is there. Uh, there's something, it says, and I'm going to quote this. It says that the universe deser- desires you to have everything you want to have. You just have to believe it is true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. The universe desires you to have everything that you want to have. You just have to believe that it's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one of the ways of doing that is like we uh, talked about was just taking the actions that you need to take, uh, no matter how small, no matter how big, as long as you're doing that, you, you're going to open up yourself to that, you know, um, everything that you want to uh, to accomplish that is awesome and that that exact same saying it kind of you know it it relates to that uh, i read it somewhere you know that it's not about what you want but it's the vibration that you put out there you know it's the universe to god yes it's it's a vibration you can't just sit here saying i want this i want that no no you gotta be taking action and putting out the vibrations out there in order to really really manifest it and really attract it to you indeed yeah yeah so chintwa i would like to thank you again it's that time it's a it's time to part ways i was i was really having a lot lots of fun here and uh, <laughs> i don't want to part ways yet but it's that time and thank you again i i i really appreciate you hopping out and giving us a lots of lots of value here um this uh beautiful saturday morning or saturday afternoon wherever you are in the uh in the world you know, and thank you so much. Really appreciate you hopping out and give us value. No, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity. I am so humbled. I, you know, it was uh, just about was it two weeks ago when you when you uh, sent me the message. Yeah. And I was trying to you know fit it in, you know, with uh, with my work schedule, and then thankfully you said you you know you do it on Saturdays. You know, at at this time at twelve noon, I said you know what I can I can swing that. Because the other one, the other times, you know, at 9 p.m., I would, you know, be at work. Mm-hmm. So, and I really, I want to give you kudos and, and honor you for giving me the opportunity to, uh, you know, to come out here and share my story. And, and hopefully, you know, it, it, it helped, you know, someone out there, you know, someone that may have yeah. you know, a similar story, you know, uh, with me and, um, or someone yeah. that may have uh, a, a different story to tell you know, hopefully yeah. inspire them and encourages them. Yeah, you're getting lots of love here on Facebook, by the way. Let me just uh, add that in on there. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining uh, Chintwa and I here this beautiful Saturday morning. And hope you got tons of uh, value here. He's got a very powerful story. He dropped plenty of value bombs in there. And again, love you guys. Appreciate you. Thank you for always being here, always joining us in the uh, Entrepreneur in the Spotlight, you know, um, Thank you. I do not have, uh, I can't uh, thank you enough for that. And uh, oh yeah, just to add on to that, sorry, I'm a little all over the place this morning. Um, Just to add on to that, you know, there's a, it's so fitting that you said, okay, November 11th would work. Because as I said earlier, Veterans Day and Remembrance Day, and you are the perfect guest for today. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, It's almost like you planned it. Uh, in a way that the universe let you plan it. <laughs> yeah, the universe planned it. Yeah, it all just <laughs> dawned on me right now. I'm like, what a perfect guest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really. Episode 50 and Remembrance Day special. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thanks again, guys. Um, in order for you to never miss out on another episode of Entrepreneur in the Spotlight, make sure to turn on your live notifications. Don't forget to keep the hearts, the likes, the shares, and the comments coming in, whether you're watching live, whether you're watching replay. If you have any questions for Chin Twa and I, drop it in the comments and we will definitely answer them. And uh, Chin Twa, what's the best way that they could connect with you? Um, they can always, you know, if you, anywhere that wants to connect with me, can always, you know, reach out on Facebook, you know, send me a friend request. Um, mm-hmm. 
I will look at your profile before I say yeah, yeah, or- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, reach out that way. And also, if you want to, you know, work with me, you can, you know, just go to uh, workwithchin.com. That's mm-hmm. workwithchin.com. <laughs> awesome. Guys, definitely take him up on that. De- definitely take him up on that. But, you know, don't get offended. We all, we all, uh, everyone you add really peaks uh, deep in your profile because, hey, Facebook friends are valuable real estate. We only get 5,000. So do not get offended and you should be doing the same. All right, guys, Chin and I, uh, Chin Twai and I are going to hop out now. We're going to carry on with our uh, days here. And uh, thanks again for joining us, guys. We'll see you on the next live episode. Bye. Thank you, Judith. <laughs>